All right, so, so the, the dominant answer is, is all of the above change. Um, if I raise this total energy up to something that is, that is still negative but is then small, then what have I done to the, the average, the potential energy was doing that. Now it's doing that. So if I raise the total energy, then the potential energy goes up. The kinetic energy, if I graph the new kinetic energy, it's going to look like that. The kinetic energy has gone up. Everything has gone up. Yeah? Uh, how would you, uh, how is adding 1.5 whatever amount of increase in the total energy? Um, why would it not only be increasing the energy? So, so it's going to increase the kinetic energy. So, so what's going to happen? Let's say I do that when it's right at the bottom. I can do it when, I, you know, I don't know how I'm going to, I can stop it, I'll stop it somewhere in this oscillation. But let's say I stop it right at the bottom. Then it'll have this kinetic energy. Until I add kinetic energy, then suddenly it'll have this. So it'll have this kinetic energy, but it'll be right at the bottom. So if it's moving apart, it'll eventually move all the way out to here and then it'll move all the way in. So the potential energy on average is also over the whole, over the whole motion is also going to go up. Well, I can say that, but I don't know. Can we see it? What was the maximum? We'll assume kinetic energy goes up. So let's look at potential energy. Potential energy looks like it's oscillating between minus 1.8, maybe what? Yeah, about minus 1.8 and minus 2.5 or something. I'm not sure exactly if I can see that well. Potential energy seems to be seems to be oscillating something like that between a minus, minus 2.5 and minus 1.8. The potential energy is doing something like that. So let me add kinetic energy. What did I say I was going to add? 1.5 times 10 to the minus 21. So a couple of people in the other class were interested in, in me putting this, these simulations up on the web. So I will. So you can play with them and add energy and do whatever you want with them if, if you care. All right, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 21 is the change in kinetic energy. So what happens then? Well, they go farther. What are the, what's the total potential energy when they're out here? It's like minus 3 times 10 to the minus 22. So these were all times 10 to the minus 21. Now the new minimum potential energy, or sorry, maximum potential energy is 3 times 10 to the minus 22. So that's 0 0.3 times 10 to the minus 21. So the potential energy is now oscillating over a wider range. So the average potential energy has gone up also. That, so first of, well, let me, let me just say, that shows you something. It shows you that when you add thermal energy, you not only increase the kinetic energy, you not only make atoms move around faster, but if atoms are bonded together, which in our real world, they're bonded all over the place. If atoms are bonded together, then you're also increasing potential energy when you increase the thermal energy. The thermal energy is made up of both of those increases. Now, why did I say that? All right, I'll ask it anyway. Suppose this molecule were just one of the molecules in a mole of gas. 
when 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1, 21 joules of energy was added to this diatomic molecule by some interaction outside the gas, which changed? E thermal, E bond, temperature, both E thermal and temperature, or none of the above? Which of those change? I'll give you a minute. 